So Ikigai is a very important aspect of philosophy of life in Japan. And one of the most important aspects of Ikigai is that you start from small things. You really appreciate the little joys of life. And this is very important because we are living in an era of globalization. And when you know people talk about multinational corporations or you know billionaires and so on, you feel as if your very small self doesn't matter. But that is not correct. If you take a look at your own ikigai and look at the spectrum of ikigai that you have, your ikigai is as good as any billionaires or founders of multinational corporations or so on. Actually, it doesn't really matter what social status you are and you know how much you earn and no matter what your school records are. It doesn't really matter if you are a PhD or not, if you are employed or unemployed or self-employed or so on. All these things really don't matter when it comes to your Ikigai because Ikigai is something private. Ikigai is something you can stood and then build on it. And interestingly, <laughs> quite interesting, uh, despite what I've just said, um, if you really focus on your private joys, your little Ikigai, then paradoxically, you become often a very successful person in the practical sense too. So, you know, I all, you know, in my capacity as a broadcaster, I interview many, many people, very successful people. And what I find most extraordinary is that these people, although they are, of course, focused on their professional lives, they also know how to appreciate the little joys in their lives. They are really private person and they know the joys of being private. When you are a private person, it doesn't really matter whether society would praise you or other people would say, hey, you are great, you know. These things don't matter really, as long as you enjoy something. When I was a kid, I used to really study butterflies in earnest, and you know, there are about 250 butterfly species in Japan. And I can recognize most of them. But you know, people don't care about the butterflies. <laughs> people don't care because you know, they don't care. <laughs> but I really did uh, draw a kick out of studying butterflies in the field if I was a kid. And you know, that gave me a deep sense of Ikigai. And I think it helped me with my professional lives too, because I don't really care whether what I did was laudable or, or was approved by those uh, powers that be. I mean, I really didn't care. I just enjoyed every moment of my endeavors, and that gave me a deep sense of Ikigai. And I did okay with my professional life. So, you know, I, I really think that, you know, realizing that your private joys, little, you know, surprises in your life do matter. I think this is one of the key things that you can have when you try to navigate through this maze of modernity, you know, this growing sense of alienation and the globalizing economy. Uh, you know, if you stick to your little Ikigai, you can actually be a really good pilot of your own life.